Welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week I'm gonna make another international food that I've never even heard of before, but Daddy really wanted to try it, so here we go. This week we're making chicken shawarma, and I'm really sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. For today's recipe, you guys, we're gonna need a large onion, olive oil, lemon juice, smoked paprika, turmeric, cumin, cinnamon, crushed red pepper, garlic, black pepper, sea salt, one egg, pita bread, and of course chicken. And I've got boneless, skinless thighs here just to make sure that it doesn't get too dry. And that's all we're gonna need for our recipe today, guys. Okay, first step today is gonna be to get our chicken cut into strips because we want those to fit nicely into our pita wraps. So I've just taken my chicken and run it through the microwave so it's easier to slice. I'm just gonna cut it into strips and then we'll add it straight to the pot. Now I'm using five pounds of chicken thighs. They're boneless and skinless so it should be pretty quick to get them all into my pot. Just like that. In they go. Pressure cooker pot full of chicken now. It's time to make the sauce that'll go on top. Okay, so up next is gonna be our onion. I've got a nice big onion here, and all I'm gonna do is take the ends off, peel it, and then we're just gonna slice it into nice big slices. And that's it. That just goes right in with our chicken. Gosh, with that onion, I wish I had remembered to do something with it to keep it from making my eyes water. I'm not used to slicing them anymore. Woo. That one was strong. <laughs> Next, we're gonna build our sauce, and I'm gonna put it in a bowl just so that I can make sure that it gets added evenly everywhere. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add my olive oil. We need half a cup of olive oil. We need one quarter of a cup of lemon juice. That's the juice of about two lemons. We need two teaspoons of smoked paprika. There's two. We need half a teaspoon of turmeric. We need two teaspoons of cumin. There's one, and there's two. We need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. We need one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. We need four cloves or two teaspoons of garlic. There's two. We need two teaspoons of black pepper. There's one, and there's two. And one teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna mix that all together, make a nice sauce out of it, so we can put it on top of our chicken. Okay, now this sauce that we've just made with the onions included, is actually intended to be a marinade for the chicken. And if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can always put all of this in a Ziploc bag, put your chicken in there, shake it up real good, let it get mixed, and then leave it in your refrigerator overnight and it should um, get the marinade all fully incorporated into the chicken. This is actually not my recipe. I found it online, but it is adapted from an oven recipe. So it wasn't intended to be in the pressure cooker, but somebody else adapted it to go into the pressure cooker. So I'm not going to worry about this step where you marinate it. I'm just going to pour this marinade right over my chicken in my pot. And then we're going to want to just give that a good mix and make sure that all of our chicken is coated with our sauce. Okay guys, now we are ready to seal up our pot. I'm going to choose my chicken function. I'm gonna bring the time cook down to eight minutes. And then push start. Now you may have noticed that I didn't add any extra water. I just added the oil and the lemon juice. I didn't add any extra liquid. And that is because my chicken was frozen. If you're not using frozen chicken, you're probably gonna to wanna to add a little bit of liquid to your pot to make sure that it will seal. Um, because the chicken is 
uh, frozen in, it's flash frozen in water, so there's a lot of water actually in that chicken. So if you're not using frozen, be sure and add a little bit of water, maybe half a cup or so. Okay, according to the recipe, this is the most important part of this recipe, and that is the garlic sauce. It says you can use some other kind of sauce if you want, but this garlic sauce apparently makes this recipe worth making. We need one third of a cup of lemon juice. And we're gonna be adding this all to a blender. So I've got my Vitamix here. I've got one third of a cup of lemon juice. We need a cup of vegetable oil. We need six cloves or three teaspoons of garlic. There's one, there's two, and there's three. We need one teaspoon of salt and one egg white. Now I am certainly no expert at separating the egg, the white from the yolk, but we're gonna give this a try here. Hey, it came right out. What do you know? So we do not need the yolk. I'm just gonna leave the yolk in there and use the white. And one egg white. And now we're just gonna blend this. Oh, I guess I have to plug it in. Ha! Guys, I fell victim to my old ways. I forgot to plug it in. It's been so long since I forgot to plug something in. Okay, so now we're gonna blend it for about two minutes. is nice and thick like a mayonnaise would be and it's ready to go so we're just gonna set that aside and wait for a chicken okay guys time is expired pin has dropped naturally let's open this thing up mm. it smells good okay now we're gonna use a slotted spoon and we're going to remove the chicken from the pot we're gonna put the chicken in a separate bowl so we can get it out of all the onions and the juice that's in here. Because so all we want right now is the chicken for our pita wraps. Okay, so I changed my mind. I was going to take all of the chicken out of the pot and put it into a separate bowl so that it would be easier to get it to put it into the pita wraps. But I'm not gonna do that, and I'll tell you why. It's too hard to get it out of the onions anyways, and I'm afraid if I take it out of the pot, it'll just get cold. So instead of letting all of our food get cold, I'm gonna leave it in the pot, and we'll just take out what we need per pita wrap. That way it stays nice and warm in case anybody wants seconds. Okay, now to make our pita wrap, what we're gonna need is some hummus. We've got that right there. We're gonna need that mayonnaise that we made, or that, that garlic sauce that we made. We're gonna need a Greek salad. Now, in case you don't know what a Greek salad is, because neither did I, it has romaine lettuce, sweet onion pita chips, Greek vinaigrette, feta cheese, and an herb seasoning. And we bought it just like this in a little kit and mixed it up in the bowl. Okay, now it says to take a little bit of our hummus and spread it on the pita bread first. And then we take our garlic sauce that we made, that new mayonnaise, and we put some of that in there. I don't know how much, so I'm just kind of going with it. There we go. And then we are going to take our chicken that we made. Mm, it smells delicious. It does smell really good, huh? And then we're gonna top that with our Greek salad. And a little bit more of our sauce. I'm not really sure how to top it with more of that when it's so thick, but I'm just gonna kinda go with it like that. And there you have it, guys. Okay, guys, I've got it ready and it's plated. Now all we need are our guinea pigs. Let's do it. Guinea pigs! Oh, there's a guinea pig. Oh, there's a, oh, it's a sleepy guinea pig. Oh dear, it's very, very tired. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, look, here comes the burrito one. Hi, burrito guinea pig. I'm not the burrito, I'm eating. Nom, nom, nom. 
I'm and watching. there's the daddy one. <laughs> Who thinks it smells awesome? Me. 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 I'm so excited to try this one, you guys. It smells amazing. So this is technically a Middle Eastern burrito. Taco. Taco. I don't know. Are you gonna wrap it all the way up like a burrito? Or are you just gonna fold it like a taco? Probably fold it like a taco. Okay, we'll call them tacos it. then. Taco, taco. So who wants to go first? Me. Me. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, let me see. I can't wait. I can't wait. Please. Mm, let's see who's gonna go first. Nano. Oh. Yay. Okay, so I want. To. I'm gonna need help. <laughs> just fold it like a taco. Just fold it. So you like the pita bread. Can you taste anything else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took a bite of everything. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You like it? How many thumbs are you gonna give that? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, number of thumbs? All right, Mia, you're up. <laughs> what should I do with it? <laughs> Big old taco. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs are you gonna give me? Yeah? Thanks, Mia. Normally, I don't like hummus, but oh my gosh. This hummus is delicious. Mm, I'm only getting half a thumb. Uh oh. It's baby's time. Yay! Yay. Mm. What are you having? Uh, this. What is that? Are you having fish sticks and pita bread? That's silly. <laughs> you don't wanna try mommy's? <laughs> I'm so surprised. Oh well, at least you're getting some fish. What do you think? Mm. Can I have thumbs? Sour thumbs! Thanks, man! Mm. Alright, Dad. It's all you, man. So where did you hear about this? You sent it to me, but how did you know this existed? Well, I think I heard it on Food Network once. Mm. Mm. Oh, yum. Wow. Oh, the flavors of these things are, this thing is amazing. Oh, yum. How it's many like, thumbs are you gonna give oh, that, Oh, like a million. This is <laughs> really good. The flavor of the chicken, mm, it's just that. It's an explosion of flavors. When the chicken is super moist, tender, yum. A bunch of thumbs up. Rotation for sure. Mm. Yum. Okay, you guys, my final thoughts. This was way better than I expected it to be. I thought the chicken was gonna be like, meh, it's okay, but whatever. No, this these flavors all go together. The chicken itself had a pretty good flavor, but it wasn't like amazing on its own. But when you put the hummus and that garlic sauce that we made on top of the pita, and then you add the chicken and that, so and that salad, man, all of those flavors together are really, really good. There may be a couple of extra steps because you have to actually make the sauce and not just the chicken, and it doesn't go in the pressure cooker. But this one's worth your time. This is really good. Who thought dinner was awesome? Me. Who had ever heard of shawarma before today? Me. Not me. I had never heard of it. You'd heard of it? Um, Dad told us like oh, a day before. Oh, okay. Dad told us a couple of days ago that that's what he wanted to try. Mia, what was your final opinion? Mm, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Mia said, <laughs> first taste tasted good, right? And then after all the flavors mixed together, Malia was not a fan. Jordan, what was your final thought? Oh, it was absolutely It was really good, right? Mia's just crazy. We won't even look at her. She's crazy. <laughs> Let's get it, no, Jackson. Mia! <laughs> I want to keep this, Mia. I love her. No! She's just really, really picky. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really, really tasty. I would definitely not mind making that again. I will definitely be making that garlic sauce again. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. I could definitely see that with maybe some cilantro in it. Mm. Oh man, that sounds good. Like I bet that sour would be amazing. Cream. Oh. Maybe some avocado. I bet there's a lot of good ways you could switch no, that up and make it no, awesome. No, put some applesauce in it. It's, it's not good. like that. Oh, I love it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make this channel strong, share it with